Okay, so, um... Yeah, underground fight pit. Fight to the death. Get your freedom. Um... Yeah. <clears throat> uh... Okay, do it. Is, uh... This is the same map from last week? Or is it a different map? Oh, oh, I gotta move you. Okay, one sec. There you go. Um, oh, let's have this guy represent. Um, what was your character's name again? Big Willie. Right, okay. Alright, so you're this guy. And your opponent is this dude. Okay. Uh, all right, this will work. Do to do. Where's the? Here it is. What? Uh, oh. I'm gonna turn that down super low, like eight percent. Oh, it's fine. I can't even hear it. I think I got it on mute. So oh. you turn it. How you that? Well, whatever. It's just some crowds cheering so you can get in the mood. Ugh. Yes. All right. So they're like, round one this is the, the pitiful newcomer up against, you know it, Big Willie. And they go nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. All right, as a reminder, here's the grappling rules. Um, yeah, that's, those are, you can still use other maneuvers like fainting and stuff if you're trying to like punch somebody or whatever. Um, so, um, weapon. yeah, so you've still got those options as well. So right now you're both just have your fists. There's like a chair there and there's some other miscellaneous stuff scattered around the arena. If you want to ask about something in particular, um, like, like bats and tables and metal like these metal fence things and whatever um yeah i think i'm gonna go for uh a bat okay yeah, um, bat oh one sec i gotta start my notes here it's the third something like that um All right, so the bats are kind of like on the floor outside the arena. Oh, okay. Um, but you could go down and grab one if you want. Um, so we haven't really started like a turn order or anything. Um, you guys are kind of just circling each other, waiting for a, a moment. I'm going to go down. Uh... All right, so then he's going to run at you and try to tackle you before you get the bat. So okay. let's let's start start out by rolling a posed reflex to see who go gets there first. Um, and if you want, you can add combat points to this. But okay, so he like goes to dive at you, and uh, we'll say your bat is like down here next to this table. Um, so you can kind of just move out of the ring and go grab that. As he like tries to chase you down. Um, okay, so you grab the bat, and then he sees that. He steps over. Oh, what did I just? Oh, oh, 
Oh, <laughs> moving the map. I gotta put this on the map layer. All right, that's better. <laughs> He's going to move over here and grab the chair in response. And why is he? <clears throat> I'm going to step back into the ring. All right. Step. Or zoom. Or you grab the chair. Yeah. I'm ready for you, bro. Come at me. Ready to what you got? To smack him in his kneecap. Oh okay. shit! Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Um. He's yeah, gonna rest. try to dodge. Um. Okay. So this is actually this is melee combat for now, because um, we haven't started the grapple. So um. Okay. Use so. On arm. Uh. He, well, so you basically use your melee combat because you are armed because you have a weapon now. Um, so let's just, let me just add this so that you don't have to think about the math here. So Okay, so your melee combat is 17. Yeah, 17. Okay, so yeah. However many points you want to put into that. I'm going to start out small instead of big this time. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, your base damage for having the bat. So I put a, a field called melee combat you can use. But okay, that's fine. Uh, Thirteen. Okay, so he's gonna um, try to dodge here. Um, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, he got an eleven. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay. Uh, so you hit him in the knee. You do that much damage? Over oh, wait, that's the spear. It's not quite the same. Uh, okay. Um, uh, one sec. So, wow, he only dodged with eight? Is that right? Oh, I didn't put points into it. Okay, he actually got a 19 to dodge you. How's that? That's not... You only put six into the attack? Yeah. Okay, so then he does dodge you. And then he's going to, like, step here and swing his bat. Or swing the chair at your head. And, uh, I'm going to dodge. All right. Okay, so this is disadvantage. Um... Uh, okay, he got a 13 because of the disadvantage. Uh, you only got a 9? Yeah, I think I'm going to... Yikes. Uh, if you have willpower, you can reroll it, but... What? I don't remember if you had willpower. I think I used my last oh. one. So you have, yeah, you have one point of, you have one resolve point per f match here, basically. Um, if you wanted to use it. Okay, anyway, so we'll just say, so yeah, he... Yeah, yeah, let me use it. Uh, okay. Let me do that. So then just re-roll. Okay, 15 against his 14... Uh, this time he successfully defend. I see, just narrowly misses your head. Um, I'm gonna follow the back with an attack. All right. Okay. Oh, so I did want to. Okay. Um. So I kind of wanted to try where you just keep fighting until you run out of combat points instead of instead of strictly keeping it to two halves. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because I feel like that was getting kind of confusing and well, it feels a little bit arbitrary. Um, so you have comment points left. Um, 
I think. Yes, I do. So, go ahead and do your thing. That's with your remaining four points. What are you yep. doing? I'm uh, attacking his kneecap. Again? Yeah. Alright, so normally I'm right. attacking... If you attack the same spot twice in a row, it's it's out of penalty. Um, okay. Well, it could, is? Okay, never mind. Yeah, you could still, okay. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I was going to say, you, you could still do it. It's at like minus four. Um, but... um. I'm gonna hit him in his head. Okay, so that's disadvantage. So that's a, that's a twelve. That still hits him. Um, you beat him by five. So you do the <laughs> extra d6. Makes sense so far. Like you, you, you kind of get that process by now. Yeah. Okay, so you did the two extra d6 of damage because you hit him in the head, <laughs> which means you did fifteen damage. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. This, uh, yeah, this character is like plus five strength, right? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're like the mountain just about, or like the rock or something. You're like about as strong. You're about as strong as humanly possible. Um, and you just crack this guy in the head. He takes 15 damage. Uh, he has... Two damage reductions, so you just splattered his skull across the map, and then he just collapses on like into the corner here, dead. You would never defeat me. What the <laughs> hell? Bring somebody else in. <laughs> and the crowd goes nuts. And they're like, oh, too bad. Our first contestant, he was just a shoplifter. But. Shoplifting is still a crime, right, Bob? Yes, indeed. All right, our next contestant. It's the blue girl. What was her name, Bob? Oh, I, I let me look at my notes. Okay, the the blue girl fights Big Willie. Okay. Uh going down. We'll see about that. Favorite. Okay. Um, you need to turn over orders. Yeah, one sec. Let me figure out what her numbers are going to be here. Um, 10 plus... Um, screw it. Let's just say something like that. Uh, okay. All right. She starts circling around. Um, actually, she's just gonna, like, run around and jump in the arena, like, over here. So she's, she's gonna do one of these. Huh! Uh, we can do the, um, the thing where you circle and we, we d declare attack or defense, so I count down from three and three, two, one. Uh, type A or D in the chat, and then... If you both attack simultaneously, then it gets ugly. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, or you could taunt her into attacking first. <laughs> it sounds like you kind of were taunting her. No, or, I'm talking shit. Or do you want to, like, intimidate her into defending? No, let's do that. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Three, two, 
One, go. All right, so you circle around a little bit as she hugs the outside of the room. And we'll do this again. Three, two, one, go. All right, she circles some more. And she looks at you and is like, what's wrong? You don't want to hit a girl? And uh, she taunts you. So give me a willpower roll. Okay, so she taunts you into attacking her first. Um, so go ahead and do whatever your attack might be. Uh, run and come, like hit her with a thrust with the bat, then go up with the bat to hit her on underneath the chin. So okay. I can get it up. Too. So that'd so be I like can... a feint, I think. So basically, you make your regular attack. And then after she defends, you would declare faint. And then you subtract two, and then you can add extra points to it. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's try that. See how All that right. works. So yeah, more faint. Go with. What is that? Oh, that's my Facebook. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll part it. Let me some that's some words. Hmm. I so, should I put? So you gotta, should I put a lot? I don't think I should put a lot. I'm gonna faint, huh? I'm yeah. Gonna fake so, it. Yeah, you're gonna and then you can pump more into it after the fact. Okay, so nine, so she's like, huh, and just decides to, like, kind of effortlessly dodge you, um, so she's gonna roll, oh, what is this for? Uh, anyways, okay, um, she's just gonna put this in, and, uh, she's gonna dodge which she's really good at, so she gets plus three. So she gets a 16 as she just, like, easily steps out of the way. And then you can be like, okay, I, I declare a faint. And now you can put more points in. I declare a faint. Um, okay, so you put... Uh, I'm point. So what you do is you'd add, yeah, okay, so it's like minus two, and then you spend nine, so you basically spent 11 points, right? Yep. Okay, so you tied her, which means, um, well, actually, because you went for the head, that's disadvantage, um, which looks like you got a crit fail, unfortunately. Um... Uh, you could resolve to re-roll that if you want to. Yeah, more re -roll. Okay. Okay, 14, so she still manages to dodge, just barely. As it, like, whiffs by her head and catches some of her hair. And she's like, ah! And then she, um, basically moves in and, um tries to like grab you on the shoulder with the arm that had the bat so she she goes in for a grapple and um, okay. she's gonna put 13 points into this how many points you had I'm gonna withdraw okay oof bad roll okay To what? So she got a 16 to try to grab you, and you said you're withdrawing? Yeah. Oh, did you already roll fine. defense? 13? Yeah, 13. Lost awesome. Okay. Um, 
So she grabs you. So she started a grapple. Um, uh, do you have any points left? Yeah. Okay, well, this is where this gets a little screwy, but that's why we're testing it. So she grabbed you. You have points left now, so what are you going to do? She doesn't. I'm going I'm to... I'm uh... I think I'm going to punch her in the face. <laughs> okay. So, um... Um... Yeah, so it's still disadvantage, but yeah, you can do that. The disadvantage? Yeah, even though you're in a grapple, it's, it's still disadvantage, but um... I'm a, uh, but shoot, she's I'm out of points, so it's not going to be hard to hit her. Uh, what the that, hell? Is that how many points you had left? I had one more. Should have put it all in. Should have. I was trying to. Okay, so so it should be a six instead of a five. Um, because it was at disadvantage. Okay, so you got unlucky. So you hit her, but it's a grazing blow, so it doesn't. So basically, you punch her in the head, and she just she just kind of takes the hit. And it was like not a not a solid hit. Uh, okay, so now it's a new round, but um, you'll keep you'll keep the initiative, so uh, you can follow up now. So what are you doing? So you guys both get all your points back. So I can just do that quickly like that. So I'm going to punch her again. Okay. Um, 15, okay, um, she's going to, I guess just try to, like, duck down, so she's going to try to duck your thing, um, she will roll plus, uh, she's really good at dodging, so, okay, so she barely dodges out of the way. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then she's going to try to, like, sweep your legs. And I guess do, like, a... Well, let's see what maneuvers I haven't really tried yet. Um, do what? Yeah, she's going to try to, like, throw you. So she she's going to, like... She has your arm. She's going to try to grab your arm and, like do a wrestling throw get you on the ground um so she so it's just a normal like opposed grapple roll so she's gonna roll her bonuses here um so can i grab can i grab the rope in defense hold on. sure yeah um yeah i don't know mechanically that that would make any improvements um here, I'll make a note, but um, or I'm I'm a twist. Matter of fact, I'm a twist and trying to land him. How about twist we'll just we'll just do it like D and D, where if you do something like that, you just get advantage. Um, so you grab the rope, you can have advantage to like your opposed grapple roll to resist being. Thrown. But you won't. Hold on. That don't count. If it. Wait, what? There we go. That one? Okay. Uh, 17. Okay, yeah. So she tries to throw you. It's. She's not nearly as strong as you. Uh, in fact, she seems a little bit weak. Um. In comparison. Um. Yeah. Um so um what you gonna do? I'm gonna uh go all her out and this again. As you know, I'm gonna grab her arm and I'm gonna twist and turn her. So I gotta grab first. No, you're already in the grapple. 
Can I twist and turn her and try to flip her, my girl? Yeah, you can throw her, yeah. I'm going to try that, too. All right. To have love. Okay. Um, wow. She has one point left, so she's going to defend... Um, okay, so you beat her, but it's only a one over. So if it beats her knockdown attribute, then she's thrown. So her knockdown attribute is higher than a one. So um, it doesn't quite knock her down. So you're kind of just like <laughs> in the process of trying to pull her on the ground, and, and she kind of like... You kind of throw her, but she like lands on her feet, and and manages okay. Um, so I think now it's top of the round. Um, so you can again. you can follow up since you won the last thing. I'm gonna throw her again. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, so same thing back to back will be a penalty. Um, you can still do it if you want to. Yep, I yeah, I know. Okay, I so. All right, so she's gonna, um, you know, she's gonna. Okay, she can't really dodge at this point because she's being grabbed by you. So she's gonna just try to resist this, um, and she. Okay, you try to throw her again. So with the minus four for doing the same thing back to back. Oh, you crit. Which means you get a r extra resolve point. So a D6? Yeah, so you could use that now or you could save it for later. Use it now. Alright. Um, so that doesn't... So you tie her. So you don't beat her, but you do... You can follow up now. I'm going to follow up. All right. but it, same one. Okay. Go out. Um, okay, she's gonna, what are you doing this time? Go on the ground. Uh, no, I'm punching her in the face. I mean, <laughs> yep, yeah. okay, alright. Um, she's gonna try to dodge. So she'll use up the rest of her points with her super dodging. And, um. Wow. Wow, okay, so she does dodge you. Do you have any points left? Oh, I'm out. Okay, so new round. And she gets the initiative because she won the last thing. So she's going to try to punch you in the face. Uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to try to grab her fist. <laughs> okay. I like that. All right. Um, it, just, it would still be a normal defense roll, but... Um, oh, it would? Okay, never mind. No, it's it's good. It You, you could... Um, It's more of a flavor thing. Um, I guess um, if you want, you could treat it like a setup maneuver where you take minus two, but if you succeed, then you like put her in an awkward position and you give yourself your follow-up attack is more effective, if that makes sense. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Because that that, that, setup is kind of it. like a catch-all. Um, uh, that... That doesn't seem right. So the first one, so you got, are you using your attack field? Yeah, I have to use my attack field. Okay, so 18 to defend. Okay, so she's going to punch you with, um, I guess, let's, I guess 10. Um, punch you in the face. I got to roll a disadvantage. Uh, okay, so you grab her fist. <laughs> Uh, did you subtract two from the total already, or oh, from, we did it. from the points you 16. used? Oh, so it'll be 16. Okay, so 16 to her 15. So you beat her, but just barely, But you, so you get plus one to your next follow-up attack. I think I'll use... I think I'm going to finish off. Should I get plus one? Yeah. 
one. Seventeen. Okay. Um, oh, she's gonna try to duck down. Um, again, she's she's pretty dodgy, so um, she's gonna try to avoid this. Um, yes. Okay, but that is a grazing oh, blow. Um, wait, are you attacking her face? Yeah. Okay, so that's disadvantage. So that 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 would mean that she dodges you because it would have been the ten instead of the sixteen. Um. Okay, so she dodges you. If you haven't noticed, she's very dodgy. Um. I think that's the rest of your points, right? Yep. All right. So top of the round, um, she's gonna. I don't even know. Um, most of the fun, uh, most of the fun stuff is if you like pin them or push slam. Break limbs, choke. Funny as you, you said, it, I was thinking about breaking her wrist. Yeah. Um, See how that worked. I'm gonna make a note that maybe there should be. Um, Oh, you know what? Okay, so she's going to try to kick you in the nuts. Because that's a thing. I haven't used that very often. Um, okay, location table. Also, kicks do slightly more damage. So, um, groin, I guess, is minus five. So she's just going to put 14 points into this. So plus nine to kick you in the nuts. So, I'm just gonna let it be my nuts. And uh, she's gonna put. She's. You're gonna let her. <laughs> Are you sure about that? When she kick, why she kick me my nuts? Before she kick me, I'm gonna grab her legs, her feet with my my strong thighs. Oh, yes, I'm going to let her kick me my nuts. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, she hits you, and uh, she puts an extra resolve into this. Let me see here. So that she can do extra damage. So she hits you in the nuts, and she does uh, seven damage. Was you gonna let me grab her with my thighs? Oh, I thought you, I thought you were saying you're just gonna let it happen. Yeah, let her swing the feet. So when as she's going, I'm grabbing. It. I guess I should say I grab her. Okay, so you are defending. So yeah, so you can try to grab her. Okay, so go ahead and roll your defense. It's against the twenty-one. But actually, she might. She might not use a resolve point until you roll your defense. Let's see what you get first. Uh, 23. Okay. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to use my second resolve point to try to beat that. So I'm at 21. So now I'm at 26. So I beat your defense. Um, I use my resolve points to beat that. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so she hits you in the nuts. Um, it does a lot of extra pain damage, but the base damage doesn't increase. So um, she hits you, and it doesn't really phase you. Um, I might have to change that. <laughs> um Yeah, hello. Okay, I had to go down and check. Our internet went out for a second. Um, but looks like we're back on. Sorry about that. Okay, um, where were we? What did, I, what did I last say? 
I think uh, you kicked me in my nuts. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, so I was right now. Like grind shots is just extra pain. But I think it probably should also just do extra damage, just like a headshot would. Um, so I'm gonna treat it like that. So four damage, but double the pain. So um, I think your toughness is like four, right? So you don't take any damage, but you do take four pain. So you do still take penalties. <laughs> Um, uh, okay. Um, okay, so, what the? Okay, so... She does that, and then she's going to try to, like, grab your head and, like, slam it into her knee. Yeah, I'm uh, dodge that. Okay. So she put, she put a lot into that groin kick. Uh, so, okay, so she's going to put the rest of her points into this. Um, did you roll dodge? Yeah. Which one is that? Uh, I. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, okay, so he hits you in the head with her knee. Um, so that's going to be... Zero damage. And she's out of points. You got any left? Oh, I'm out too. Okay, new round. Um, so she's going to, I guess, try and trip you now. Um, so, you know what? 14 points. Uh, she's going to almost go all out. And just try to get you on the ground. Uh, okay, so she beats you, but I believe your knockdown is higher than two. So she doesn't manage to throw you. Um, so with her remaining point, she's just going to like pull back and withdraw. Um, so she, if, if you win the attack roll, you can withdraw for free. So she's just going to withdraw. Um, so you can still chase her if you want to. But, but no, I'm going to throw the bat at her. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess that's an improvised range weapon. I don't but it's really close, so you can just throw yeah. it, and it's against her range thing, which is a 12. Uh, it's going for her chest. How many points did you put into that? Two? So you got the 10, right? Well, uh, your attack doesn't look like it has any bonuses in it. I see what you're saying. And actually, I forgot something. Um, okay, oh my gosh, your knockdown is 10, so it didn't matter. But you are supposed to have minus 4 to things because of the pain. Um, 
Anyway, um, you throw the bat, even if you add plus two to it, um, she can easily dodge out of the way, and it's, it's still a 13 to hit her. So, whoa, that's not what I meant to type, but... Okay, so she dodges out of the way, and um, does so, so well that she gets a resolve out of it. Um, um, Okay, so new round, I guess. So I want to try something that I've been meaning to do where um, instead of, t if you have like a wound, instead of taking minus four, you just take, you just refresh with less combat points at the beginning of the round. Does that make sense? So you have 13 points instead of 17. But if, if ever a wound... If, if a wound ever makes you go negative with your combat points, then you just subtract it from whatever you have left. Otherwise, you just subtract from your overall pool. You say every round I will have 13 points? Yeah, because of the, the pain from the groin shot. That's, I think that's easier to remember than... Subtracting four from every single thing. Um, also, you never switched to your grappling pool. You've been using your melee combat pool the whole time. Oh, it's not. So once you get into a grapple, you get to add your strength plus your grappling specialization. Your grappling pool is supposed to be 25 instead of 17. So you should have been destroying her in grappling. Um, we'll just keep that in mind now. So you should have 21 points right now because you switched to... Well, right now you're not in a grapple, but when you get back into a grapple, you'll, you'll have that. That makes sense? Alright, so um, she withdrew, so you basically have the initiative, so what do you want to do? I mean, technically you would reestablish it, but I kind of like it better this way. Alright, she's going to try and resist that, I guess. Um, so she got a 15. Uh... Um, okay, you grab her. So now you both switch to your grappling pools. Um, so now you have, uh, okay, so I'm just going to switch this real quick for you. So you should be at 21 now with the pain and you spent 10, 10. so you have 11 left. Okay. All right, so you grab her. Um, what you doing now? I throw her on the ground. All right, she's gonna try to resist. Seven. Slam her on the head. Oh. See, hold on, hold on. This is the same thing. Yep. A slam does seven, uh, a b bludgeon. Uh, damage. Yeah, you could slam her against something hard. Um, that's like, what like this, like the post here or something. Slam or, like, her. yeah. I'm gonna slam her head, uh, onto the ground. Straight down. Okay. I'm gonna say for the sake of this brutal contest that the ground is basically mm -hmm. cement. Um,. I think I might change the slamming rules to be more like based on the hardness of what you slam them into. Um, but for now, we'll give we'll say it's a really hard surface, so it does a lot of damage. Um, so okay, so you slam her. Um, 
So you're okay. Nineteen against the sixteen. You do succeed. Um, okay. So here's the trick. So you don't have her like knocked down yet. So you can't really slam her into the ground until you succeed at a, like a knockdown or like a trip or a, or a throw or something like that. So you could slam her into something vertical. Otherwise, you would have to roll to like knock her down first, if that makes sense, and then you could shove her into the ground. I'm gonna slam her into something vertical. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that would basically be like the pole here, which you can easily do. Um, okay, so that you said that's seven blunt. Okay, so then she takes the seven. Uh, she's gonna roll KO. Okay, so she keeps fighting, but she takes seven blunt damage. Um, so that's not, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Um, I'm gonna use a different stuff on the main CP. I'm gonna have that CP type back. Uh, whatever you just said was really quiet all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Well, that's if funny. I, if I, is the belligerent, uh, take the CP away, right? Yeah, so she has, so that's going to be, yeah, so she's at minus seven now. Um, CP. Because, because that puts her at negative. But at the top of the round, she'll refresh with seven less. But, yep. It ain't like I was going through. Yeah, I just want to make for sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I got some more points left, huh? Yeah, I do. I have two more points. Okay, so what are you going to do to her? I'm going to elbow her. Yes. Okay. Straight down. Alright. So she's not defending at this point. Okay, that hits uh, nine blunt damage. Jeez. Okay. Um, so you, whatever you do, you um. How do you want? It, where do you want to hit her? The chest. Yeah, okay, you hit her in the chest, and it like collapses some ribs, and she's just like, Oof, and just collapses on the ground, like kind of just her limbs are trembling, and uh, she's. Not dead, but she's incapacitated. She's out of the fight. Almost got me. Close. God. You want to take a minute to recover from that pain? <laughs> recover. <laughs> Alright, so she's down here. Oh, I need a healing potion. Uh, yeah. Oh, the doctor. The witch doctor. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so you can just um, yeah, we'll just next. Wait, it didn't work. It did work. Okay. Um, there's some people that pop magic. What? You have you have some wizard? You know, a genie? Oh, I was just grabbing like tokens that could work. Because they weren't wearing weapons. I thought it'd be kind of funny if this was like a wrestling outfit. <laughs> you want to fight the wizard? <laughs> I don't really have stats for him. I, like, I don't even know what he would... Maybe he'd be like really good at throwing or something. Um, okay. Um, I don't... I don't have a ton of elaborate stuff prepared. Are you cool with, like, a bit of a shorter session today? That's, that'd be fine. Okay, so we... Alright, so how about... Uh, okay, I could throw a couple more guys at you or just skip to, like, a boss and have you fight, um... Have you fight Spirit's character from yesterday. <laughs> or from last week. Or your spirit. Why do I always screw that up? Um, have you fight... Orange's character, since you're equal point by, and that that'll actually be a really close fight. Do you want to try that, or do you want to throw fight a couple other different variants? Uh, let's try that one. Okay. 
Alright, so let's have this guy be Spirits or his guy. <laughs> Super buff looking dude. Come on, come on, come on. Though. And our reigning champion. This will be a match to watch out for. It's the Slugger versus Big Willie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, Rondo. Um, Big Willie gonna take you down. Uh, what's what is the difference in builds here? Okay. Um. They're pretty similar. Oh, he's really good at unarmed combat. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um. Okay, so he doesn't even need to grab stuff. Um. So you're just tougher and stronger. And um, he has more combat points. So we'll see how this plays out. Uh, let me just double check the math so that they're even. Oh, you're faster and stronger. Um, but you. So he has the edge on you slightly because the extra movement speed isn't really helping much in this scenario. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you have extra agility, but that doesn't do you a lot in, in this, in a close quarters fight like this. So, um, he, yeah, but we'll sure. see, maybe you'll get lucky. So, um, I'm going to give you, to, to even the odds, I'm going to give you two resolve points because you won two fights so far and you've got like the, the morale on your side. That, that'll even things up a little bit. Um, 25. All right, so um, he's got um, he has really good uh, unarmed skills. Okay. Um, all right, this might be a quick fight. We'll see. Um, okay, so you guys start circling. Um, so you want to do the attack defense thing? The three, two, one. Uh, no. You gonna taunt him instead? Step up the rank. <laughs> All right, just roll reflex. You know what? He just he lets you. He lets you do it. And he just he just waits in here. And he's all like. You just gonna keep running away? You afraid of these fists? Come on. Come on. Pick up this table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's gonna be like minus minus three action points, but it'll do a lot of damage. Carry the table in here with me. All right. Running straight to him. As I run straight to him, that table in front, you know what I'm saying? As he's holding it in both hands, yeah. straight as a defense shield, he's going to wait just in time and slide underneath the table, kick him to grip him. Oh, so you're going to like try to, you're like blocking with the shield, with the table for now. Okay, uh, roll opposed reflex. So he's going to try to like, run over and kick you as you try to get into the ring, but if you're fast enough, you can get in there before him. So, this is his reflex. Um, you will get the, um, the, uh, okay, so he gets to you first. So you're, like, over here, and he runs over, tries to kick you as you come into the ring. Um, so you, you do get advantage to defend because you've got that table and it's blocking you so he's just gonna yeah okay um 
Oh, nog een dark seat. Oké. Okay, um, kicking you with this. 19. I will give you like extra advantage because the table kind of gives you reach advantage over him. So, um. Okay, so you got a 24 to defend. Uh, okay, so, so you used all your points for that. Because you it's minus. It's, um. Minus three action points to have to be like using the table because it's. It's. It's hefty. But then I'm just shoot. I'm gonna drop the table. Okay, so you, um, all right, you drop the table. It's still in front of you, so it'll still give you the advantage. So he kicks the table, basically, and he, like, kicks it to the side, and then he sees you, and he tries to grab you. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm going to slide underneath his legs. Okay, <laughs> all right, um, so this is his... This is his grab. He's one. Wait, don't you only have like three points left? I thought I just dropped the table instead of. Well, yeah, but you still spent 14 to defend already. Um, I'm just double checking your your unarmed melee combat. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um. Okay. So yeah. Um. Twelve. So he grabs you. Um. Do you have any points left? No. All right. He has one point left. He's gonna punch you in the face. At disadvantage. It probably won't hit, but it's something. He misses. Okay, top of the round. Now you both switch to your grappling pool. Um, you, st you still there? I'm here. Okay, I, just, yeah, I lost I audio, so I just wanted to make sure that I didn't lose internet again. Because okay. cause the other thing dropped out. Let me get that started again. Yeah, I lost my internet yesterday and today. I call it in and see what's going on. Huh. I think we just had like a temporary power outage or something. I think that's what happened here. Um, okay, anyway, so his grappling pool is 25. It's the same as yours. <laughs> okay. Um,. All right, so now we're dead even, except you have the extra resolve points compared to him. Um, so he gets one for just existing. Um, okay, so uh, you're up, because he missed last round. I'm going to go behind him. Okay. And grab him by the throat. Okay. All right. Yeah. So choke maneuver. See here. So it's just your normal unarmed damage, but um. It's two. Yeah. Okay. I forgot how much points I want Twenty. Okay, so thirteen. All right, he's gonna defend with fourteen. Uh, you know what? He'll defend with thirteen too. See what happens here. Okay, he tied you, which means he he manages to hold off your choke, but you still get the initiative. 
We'll choke so, him again. Um, okay, so it's minus four to do the same thing again. Yes. Yeah. We gotta get a plus plus two. What's the plus two for? And choke. Oh, did you factor that in before? Oh, so then you got a 22 because you specialize in that. Um, so then, yeah, so you've got him in a choke. Um, he's, that's not going to exceed his knockout, which is, um, okay, his knockout is four. So you do three blunt damage. So you're, you're choking him, but it's not getting through his toughness. Um, so if you ever, if you beat him by five or more with a choke, then you will, um, you'll knock him out. Um, but you didn't quite get there. Um, you do have those resolve points if you want to end this quickly. Yes, let me uh, resolve that. All right. Okay, so that puts you at 25 to his 20. So he's going to spend his resolve point to resist this. So now he's at, now he's at 25, same as you. So you have one last resolve point. If you think you can roll a 5 or a 6, you can end the fight. Otherwise... Okay, <laughs> there it is. A uh, quick resolution. So you you get him in a chokehold, and he he tries to break out, and um, you know, okay, so okay, so that would that would end the fight. But after doing that, I feel like it would be more interesting. Um, Battle with Richard. I think it would be more interesting if you have to like hold the choke for a round. Does that make sense? Like if they, because they like at least have a chance to like break out of it. If that makes sense. Yes, and you, the air is like the air is sinking up. Yeah, so so, so you have him in a chokehold and he's starting to lose oxygen. So he's going to desperately try to break out of the chokehold before he runs out of oxygen. Um, so I think they should get at least one like one chance to like bust out. So he's going to do that with whatever points he has left. Um, and then you can try to hold the choke with whatever points you have left. Um, I got 12 left. I use 12 points. Um, plus two. Do I still oh, get a wait, two? hold on, hold on. So you also do, um, how much extra damage did you do? Five? Okay, so he's he's at minus five right now to try to break out of this choke because you're already like you're already like doing some damage to him. So he has um twelve points left, so he has seven points left to, to resist this choke. Uh okay, so you um you beat him, you do some more damage, um, so this doesn't do extra damage, but you maintain the choke. Um, I wonder, I wonder if it would, if it would be better to, like, be realistic and you have to, like, hold the choke for, like, another full round, or if it would be better just to have it be over quickly so that it's not, like, tedious from a game standpoint. I, I don't know, what do you think? I think it'd be more realistic if you hold it so like keep the points that I already used so I can't use it again. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll try the realistic way. So 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 one one option is because you just beat him in that follow up choke, then you finish squeezing the air out and he passes out. So the other option is you have to hold it for at least like ten seconds or something. Um, so now you're <coughs> you're, you're holding him down. So now. Um, New round, you both get your points back, except he has less points because he's being choked. And um, you can try to try to hold it, hold it some more. So if you hold it, if you hold him for the rest of this round, then he'll pass out. This round, I start new points, right? Yep. So you you would start with however many points you want to put into it. 
after the the same as we did before. Continue. Okay, I'm gonna put uh I'm gonna put all my points into trying to break out here. Uh but I'm gonna give him disadvantage because he's already been choked for a round. So that's Okay, so he manages to break out. Um you probably could have just put all your points into that. Um yeah. wanna give him a chance. But okay, so he breaks out and he's like <gasps> Um so he still has the minus five from that show cold. Uh, I want to mess him up a different way. <laughs> okay, but he's out of points now, and you still have points. So, <laughs> like, so he basically. Okay, see, I'm a, uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab him, and slam him against the chair. Okay, that works. So that'll just be a normal slam. Okay. Be I'm gonna use more points on that. Okay, he doesn't have anything left, so that's 16 over 5. Okay, you rolled bad for your extra damage, but it's still 5 damage over his 4. Um. So he takes one more blunt damage as you like slam him against the chair. Um, all right, he could fail this, so I'm gonna make a knockout roll. Okay, he he didn't fail, so he's still fighting. Um, I don't suppose you have any points left, or was that all of them? That's all of my points. All right, so top of the round, uh, you're up again. What you doing? I'm gonna slam him against this. Right over here. I'm just gonna pull him over and slam him again. Okay. Poor guy. He's gonna tap out soon. <laughs> or he'll make a dramatic WWE comeback. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I'm gonna, I guess, try to duck down and avoid this. Um, which I do. Uh, and then I'm gonna spend three points to try to punch you in the face. I'm gonna dodge it. Okay, nine. <laughs> okay, you dodge it. Do you have any points left? Oh, I'm slamming again. Uh, okay, well, it, it, it would, it's still minus four. Well, okay. I guess it's not minus four because he can't defend himself at this point because he's out of points. Um, Five points left. All right, you slam him. You do six, or you do yeah, six blunt damage. So he takes two more. Uh, he's a tough guy. Um, ooh, ooh, actually, his KO is plus four, so he just got a seven. So you hit him, and he um, he like collapses onto the floor and like taps out. He's like. Ugh no more and, and just and just lays down on the floor and doesn't get up on his head. <laughs> yeah the crowd like gasps in silence as they wait to see what happens because you Snap. got all your you got all your points back and now you're just gonna kick him in the head yeah I must mess his head okay so it's just an unarmed kick uh Wait, wait, wait. Alright, whatever. That's that's fine. So that's 
It doesn't have to be exact. I mean, you've already won at this point, so it, it's not that important which pool we use or whatever. Um, but it'd be, it'd be kick damage, which is one more. So four plus eight is 12 damage against his four body. That's That almost kills him in one hit. So you, you like crack his head against the ground and it's like a bloody mess and everyone's like, <gasps> Ooh, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh my god! <laughs> no, well, I'm gonna do it again. That's fine. It's just uh, silent okay. in the room for a while. It's next round. You know, he's dead. At that point, he's dead. <laughs> so, I mean, next week we'll, we'll have to try this with Richard. Yeah, yeah, if he's around, yeah. I feel like the wrestling rules are, are pretty good. Um,. They may, maybe there could be some more maneuver options for, like, when you're not pinned yet. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, do you feel like it's missing anything, or does it feel pretty good to you? Like, jumping off the rain. Oh. Okay, <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, if the person's laying down or... Maybe like some stunt maneuvers or something like that would be kind of fun. Maybe otherwise a tag team match. Or oh, tag group. team! All yeah. for nothing. We could do we could do tag team stuff where like it's like two v two. Um. Well, I mean, I feel like the normal rules handle multiple people pretty well. So, um. Yeah. Um. Cool. All right. So the um. Yeah. Uh, after like a long pause, the announcer is like, "Well, folks, this is why we do this underground. But we have a new vicious champion, Big Willie, the Indomitable." And uh, everyone goes nuts, and the other fighters kind of cheer quietly because they're terrified of fighting you. Um, and. That on his head, I'm gonna say, How oh, do you like Big Willie on your head? <laughs> I should have stopped the stream two minutes ago. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, all right, so you win your freedom and stuff, and uh, whatever story wrap up. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream now. Um,